Catch your breath. More sliding up ahead. This one's looking a bit more dangerous. Is it? Yeah, that does look dangerous, doesn't it? Okay. All right, you were right all along. I guess we try to get to that flat part over there. Ready? Let's do it. Oh, simple as that. Whoa! Damn, dude. It's better than bungee jumping. Have you ever been bungee jumping? No, but I'm sure this is better. <laughs> Pretty cool. Just beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. Um, up we go, I guess. Okay, that's rock there. I guess we need to climb this. So, this is what you've been up to all these years? Jumping around ruins? Yeah, that and getting shot at. Blown up. Punched. Kicked. All right, all right, I get it. Knifed. Drugged. Huh, what am I doing here? Am I going over there or am I going over here? Hmm, nowhere to go up. This may not have been the right way to go. Oh, what, what is he reaching for? I don't think I want to go down there. Okay. Um, really? Kind of liked my chances better from the other place. Alright, whatever. Uh oh. Need to go around that way, maybe? They're both looking in that direction. This looks like a dead end. Emphasis on the word dead. Hmm. Huh. Oh, okay. Um. How do I get over there? More slipping and sliding, maybe? Oh, wow, that was quite a leap. That'll work. Okay, more slipping and sliding, it looks like. Oh, I passed it up! Oh, crap. Alright, this might work? Yeah, this should work. <laughs> Jeez. Pretty crazy. Man. I know I'm missing so many treasures. It it hurts my head. Hmm. That's pretty high up. No boost. Well, we're close, I think. A dormitory gate. <laughs> Could you yell that any louder, dude? There's the dormitory gate. Okay, let's do this. Jump. Hmm. What am I doing here? <laughs> As unbelievable as it is, that's what we did. Okay. All right. Now what? Snowing. Um. Hmm. Ready for this? Ready for what? I don't know what we're doing. Huh. Um. I'm going to guess that we're going to slide down this rock, but I don't know where where to. So the gate's over there. What the hell am I doing? Don't see anything 
obvious. Whoa. Oh no, I fell off. Oh crap. All right. Not so bad. That's okay. Let's go down here and take another look. It's kind of scary. I just kind of fell off. I can't climb up there. Um, what the hell are we going to do? Maybe throw our rope to that? I'm not sure. Let's try it. Line up the camera. Uh-oh, I don't like this. There we go. Yeah, shimmy over here a little bit. Get a good swing going on for this impossible jump. Jump! Oh, yeah. Go around here again. Okay. Oh yeah. He's got he's got a really long reach. Look at this guy. Up we go. Okay, well. Let's see what happens. I'm okay, yeah, sure enough, there it is right there on top of my head. Ready? Uh, dude, get out of my way. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Stuck the landing. Here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Dude. I could get used to this. Uh-huh. I wouldn't recommend it. Yep, don't see any treasures behind us there. No treasures hiding here. Hey, give me a hand. Yeah, give me a hand. Get over here. Come on. Right, I got it. Go. Okay, come on. And we're here. <laughs> yes, we are. Look at us. Look at this. Ain't no place Nate and Sam can't get into. Jesus. Look at this place. Welcome to the St. Dismas Dormitory. Alleged final resting place of one Henry Avery. <laughs> Let's find that grave. Well, apparently we picked up a journal entry Nathan, somehow. Check it out. This one's got a pair of cutlasses. The dormitories. Oh, we can inspect this item here. It's like oh, a scroll okay. from the cross. Okay, well, great. So we picked up a journal entry. The dormitories. So I guess we just sketched that. So we didn't really pick it up. We sketched it. Stonework, but no, dates don't match. The dates don't match. 1659 to 1699. I might be able to remember that. Okay, cross cutlasses, skull and crossbones, and the date 1659 to 1699. We find a tombstone with all three, and we're in business. Well, let's desecrate some graves. Let's. Okay, let's see here. Skull and crossbones, cutlasses, and dates. That's not it. Cross swords, but no skull and crossbones here. That's right. The dates are wrong too. Let's see what happens if I look at no, it. No, this is not the grave we're looking for. Okay. This one doesn't have a skull and crossbones. And the dates are wrong. Hey, look at this one. Tempus edax rarum. Time devours all things. Jeez, cherry bunch of folks we got here. <laughs> so how big is this place, man? It's looking like it might be kind of big, huh? That's not it. Skull and crossbones, cutlasses, and the dates. <laughs> There's a lot of variations on that. Oh, this is it. Oh no, the cutlasses are pointing the wrong way. 
Yeah, they need to be pointing down. Date is correct, but the swords are upside down. Yeah, so that's wrong. Wrong one. Okay, nothing over here. Cutlasses are pointing the wrong way. The date is wrong. No skull and crossbones. I like the snow. What have we here? Uh, we have... The cutlasses are pointing the right way. We have skull and crossbones, but there's no dates. Yeah, well, swords are a match. Oh. Oh, here we go. So is the year. Sam, come here. Where'd you find it? <sighs> Benjamin Bridgman. It's Avery's alias. <laughs> Something odd about this skull, though. It's like it doesn't belong to the stone. Well, what's odd about it is that's not Avery's sigil. Huh. Yeah, I mean, the skull should be facing... Sideways. Sideways. What is that? Oh, oh how cool. <laughs> you ready for this? been ready for a long time. Yeah, look at that. Well, that's pretty neat. Not sure how they managed to uh, build that without anybody knowing about it, but we don't need to know such things. I'm going to just take a quick look around the rest of the uh, cemetery here just to see if there's anything to see. Could be a treasure, could be something. Oh, wow, whoa. This place is uh, pretty big. Can't get in there. Looks like a place you could easily get lost in, huh? Or a place where you could hide a treasure. Oh no! What's with the open graves? Oh, whoops! I did not mean to jump to jump down in there. It's a pretty big place. But I'm not finding any treasures, sadly. There's got to be at least one in here, right? I mean, come on. This big place. They're easy to miss, though. Uh, I always think that once I finish the game, I'll go back through it again. This is what I did with the previous games. I played the game, finished it, and then I went back through it again with a guide you know, following a guide online uh, to make sure that I got all the treasures, which is which is fun to do. It's, it's fun. But uh, I'm not finding any treasure in here on my own, sadly. Holy cow. How big is this freaking place, man? Wow, look at this. This is crazy. To think that, you know, somebody playing the game would have come through here looking for that grave and missed it. You know, I just happened to find it fairly quickly. And then some poor soul is out here <laughs> running around this part. It makes me think that there's going to be... There's going to be more to this. Maybe when we come out, there's going to be a battle out here or something. Because this is way too big of a space to have just for looks. Looks like there's a lot of places to climb. So, there's gonna be more to this, right? I think so. Yeah, I think it's pretty obvious, really. But still no treasures, which makes me sad. I want to find the shiny. Oh, wow, another door here. Okay, well, there you go. Oh, that's not the door we came in. No, it's not. Yeah. So, a lot more to this place. We're gonna have to... We're gonna... We're gonna be back here. We. Oh, don't break an ankle. Holy cow. 
<laughs> I almost really screwed that up, man. I'm just jumping like there's nothing to be worried about. Sheesh. This way, Nathan. Okay, I'm coming. Plop. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. A crypt? A crypt? Hidden behind a secret door? I assume the secret door was added afterwards. <laughs> to hide his loot. Huh. Fingers crossed. Here's a journal entry. Let's check it out. One of the old monks wrote this. What does it say, Nate? Let's read it. A miracle at long last, and on our good Saint Dismas's feast day. Weeks after we learned the crown's intent to shutter our cathedral and reclaim our lands, a stranger wandered into our midst as my novice and I concluded our morning prayer. A startling vision with flint-colored flint -colored eyes and a thick, unkempt beard. He was clothed in a naval captain's uniform, bearing a magnificent sword and a large leather satchel. We bade him to join us, and he graciously accepted. At mealtime, the stranger related a sad tale of a battle at sea and the desire to bury his fallen comrades on sacred ground, confessing a kinship of sorts with our good Saint Dismas. And thus we shared our own tales of woe, the grounds in disrepair, no money forthcoming from the crown, and the cathedral abandoned save for the two of us. He nodded knowingly before drawing out of his satchel a quantity of gold coins the likes of which I had never seen. The stranger offered us this gold in exchange for our land and all the structures contained within the grounds. Though my beliefs conflicted with my desires, in the end, I felt to turn him down would be foolish. With this amount of gold, we can certainly do more good elsewhere than here along this forgotten coastline. As for the stranger, may these lands serve his intentions well, whatever they may be. Okay, well that expl explains an awful lot right there. Is there another drawing behind this? No. Okay. Well, that was neat. Okay. No, that, I liked that. That explained how this came to be because I was all suspicious and stuff. Well, it's time for me to end my play session. When we come back, we will explore this crypt further and then uh, see what kind of trouble we get into when we leave the place. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this play session. If you have, won't you let me know by leaving me a like or a comment? And if you're not a subscriber, won't you please consider subscribing? <laughs> look, he's like, look over there. Look over there. Okay, at least he's looking this time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll join me again in the next episode.